Okay, so we're gonna start with our jars. So what you're gonna need is your tacky glue, a paintbrush. I've got a container with a little bit of water just so that um, my brush doesn't um, dry up. Um, you don't wanna put a lot of water on your brush. I've got some paper towels to soak up any excess water. <clears throat> I've got my bottle that I'm gonna use and I've got the same, the same bottle that I've already done um, to show you. So that works. It's, it turned out to be a pretty neat bottle too, a good size. And this is the, one of the samples that I have on, um, on the picture. This is one, I think this was, I, I can't remember if this was a wine bottle or um, it might have been balsamic vinegar, but I can't remember. I've had it for quite a while. And then this one is one that I did with some silk yarn, uh, which turned out really nice, I think. And this was a bottle that I picked up at um, a thrift store, so. So if everybody, if, if y'all are all ready, we're gonna get going. Oh, and my jute, I've got my jute. And I'm gonna leave it on the spool. I'm just gonna kind of let it fall on the floor so that I can unroll it as I need it. You, If you have a, a, a yarn bowl or any kind of, if you want to, or just throw it on the floor and just use it like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start by putting some glue. I'm gonna start at the top of my bottle. I found that if you've got threads on your bottle for a screw cap, it works well if you start at the top. So I'm just gonna apply some glue to the top and then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to spread it. And you don't wanna do too um, big of an area because your glue will dry quickly. Okay. okay, so. If you're beginning, especially with the threads, if it starts out a little um, wonky, don't worry about it because we're gonna come back and add some more jute to the top because sometimes you can see um, the thread. Okay, so I've got my jute started and I'm just going to bypass where it, it started and you're kind of making a spiral. So you're just gonna keep going around and around, and it's a little messy, you do get sticky, but don't worry about it if it gets all over your um, your jute because it, it dries clear. And um, <clears throat> just keep, keep an eye out for gaps. But like I said, the beginning, we're gonna come back and add some more on this one. Okay. Uh, okay. That's not too bad. Once you get started, you can kind of go around blind because your jute follows the path that you have made for it with the previous wrap. So that's a good beginning. And once you get started, then you're just gonna continue and do the rest of your bottle. You're gonna work in about one to one and a half inch sections with your, your um, glue. So just put on some more glue. Spread it with your, with your brush. Oh, 
How are we doing? We have a few people that are going to be hopping on again. Um, oh, are we having thought. difficulties? Yeah, we have a few people that are just getting the link. Okay. So let me send that. And so you might have to redo it. it again if you don't okay. mind. Okay. No, I don't mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Just let me know when they're ready. Uh, yes. Sending it now. They're ready now? Oh, no, not quite yet. I'm sending okay. them the new link. Okay. And let's see. Ms. Can Marty. you see me? Am I in a good position here? I you think? are doing great. Okay. It is like perfectly in frame. Okay, good. Is everyone seeing okay? Yep. Okay. Thanks, Ms. Gail. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to keep going. Just let me know when to um, describe yes, it. Yes, ma'am. Will do, will do. Okay. Thank you for being patient, Ms. Sterling. No worries. I just want to um, keep wrapping before my oh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My glue dries. Please do. Oh, I'm done. I feel like we're we still waiting, Ms. Charlene. Just keep on rolling. rolling. I'm sorry. So we're still waiting, so feel free to just keep on rolling. Okay. virtual only now. Oh. All right, here we go. Let's see. I think that audio is connecting. Oh, hey, y'all. How's it going? Oh, they just muted themselves. Okay, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Ms. Betty and the crew, Ms. Linda, like, oh, hey everyone. Um, like, so Ms. Darlene just started, y'all really didn't miss much. Um, you're gonna need your tacky glue, um, your so bottles, and your cord and a paintbrush to start with. And I'm gonna um, throw it over to Ms. Darlene to let okay. y'all know what all y'all missed. <laughs> All right. Okay, Ms. Darlene, thank you so much. Sure. Hi, everybody. Okay, I have already started mine, but it's okay. It's the same process throughout the bottle. What you want to do is take your um, tacky glue, and you you're going to just add some glue all the round, all the way around your bottle, and then I take my paintbrush, and I just spread it so that I'm working with about an inch of surface at a time. You don't want to do too much because your glue will dry before you get there. So just brush it on to smooth it. And then it's the same process. So you're going to 
when you begin at the top, you're gonna start a spiral. So attach your glue and just kind of work around the bottle. Just keep a lookout for um, gaps in your spacing and you can just kind of push them up and adjust it, but just walk around the bottle with your jute and press it into the glue as you go. And then you're just gonna keep repeating this until you work down to the bottom. Once we get to the bottom of the bottle, we're gonna go back up, especially if you have a bottle with threads at the top as I do, and we're gonna add some more jute at the top to make sure that those threads are fully covered. So that's basically it. Um, if anybody has any questions or if you need me to repeat something, just ask. And that's it. We are not a shy crew, Miss Darlene. Just keep walking around. Uh, so, here hey, Miss Robin. I just let my jute um, spool, I just threw it on the floor so that I could just keep what? pulling up. I mean, that's how forward, cool it is, you know, because I'm like, I have As I need it. Mm -hmm. I so love this what project. She did, slash what she really, Thank you. Really, really wanted. Um, but yeah, I was like, um, I think the cord already looks metallic y. Um, so, do you think? You knew more than me. So that was, that it was, was gold. Like, other than, mm -hmm. like, while yeah, it is, it right, is kind of gold I color. I wasn't even thinking of looking her up in glass, you know. So I'm like, I don't even know her contact information. But so I'm glad to have her email at least. Okay, cool. All right. Well, thanks, dude. That, that is helpful. <laughs> All right. All right, you too. Oh, fudge. Uh -oh. No. What happened? It's kind Sorry. of, it's a sticky process. So just know that your fingers are going to get covered in glue. Who's that that said fudge? Yeah. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I'm lucky that's all it was. <laughs> <laughs> but that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> and you know every now and then your jute might have a little knot where it's connected you can either just ignore it and keep going or if you have a pair of scissors handy you can cut it cut it off <laughs> not the jute itself but just the little bump i just ran into one I don't know where y'all were able to find your jute, but the jute they sell at Home Depot now is not the same quality as it was when I bought this. It's it's not as pretty. I like this one is much nicer. I might try Ace Hardware and see if they have a better quality or even order from Amazon or something. But So how's everybody doing? You good? This is going to take till midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have brands to scale? <laughs> this, I, How big is your bottle? Well, and I got a kind of a fine jute. Oh. I didn't realize it was supposed to have a thicker one. And Where did you find your jute? Uh, dollar store. Oh, okay. I've never really seen it except the really, really big one that's like five eighths of an inch and and this, which is like mine is like a quarter of an inch and it kind of varies. It's not it's not um, all the same. It's probably about an eighth of an inch. Oh, well, it's not, very, it's not very heavy. How tall it, is your bottle? It came like this and there were three of them in a packet. Yeah. 
but, uh, yes. So, Miss Mary Lynn has a question. Um, if they try the silk thread, do they need to go around the bottle once or more than once? Should we double line each section or not? Wait, I, I'm not sure I understand the question. Oh, um, if they try like silk thread or yarn, I don't think, I think she meant yarn. Um, oh, yarn? Even, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure yarn is going to work well. The yarn might just drink up the glue, but you can try it. It's, it, is it a very, is it a, a thick yarn or is it just a normal size? Is it a, um, cause that you might have difficulties with that. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, uh, when you did yours, did you go around it twice? I, I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't know what you mean by go around twice. Oh, like, did you go all the way down with your, um, oh, the multicolor? Yes. Miss Lynn, Miss Mary Lynn was asking about the multicolored yarn. When you went from the top to the bottom, did you go back yeah. up? Yes. From the no, I didn't go back top. up. No, I did not. Oh. Okay. I, I, I went one, one pass all the way down. The only part I did. I don't even know if I did it on this one. I did it on this one. I did just the top over it mm. twice because as you see with here, the threads want to show through. Mm. So I'm going to go over that, but it's just a tiny section, but this one, no, I went. And the reason I did it with this is this is a very um, different kind of yarn. It's not your traditional stretchy um it, it, it had feel of jute. Um, and what it was is just little tiny bits of silk that were hand twisted together. Um, it was, it's a pretty awesome uh, piece of fiber, really. Um, That's awesome. And I, I had been having it for years and I had never done anything with it. And so I just said, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to make a bottle. Weird. And it worked out really well. Yeah, it does it's look got, great. It's got beautiful colors. Thank you, Miss Tommy. Sure. I hope that answered the question. But yeah, yarn, I don't know. I've um it might take you a little bit longer to wrap. Miss Jan has help. That's cute. My bottle is short, so this isn't going to take me long. I don't know how tall your bottles are. Make sure when you you press your your jute to your bottle, you want it to make contact with the glue so that you don't have any um, gaps. My bottle isn't exactly flat. It kind of is concaved a little bit on the sides. So I'm having to make certain I press it down <clears throat> so that it sticks. Thank you. 
Well, someday when I'm in an old age home, I'll know how to do this and I'll be able to show everybody. <laughs> do it. Oh, shucks. Who had an aw shucks? <laughs> oh, got this. Miss Darlene, I think your bottle is getting longer. You think? Yeah. <laughs> it looked like you were almost done a minute ago. And I'm like, oh. yeah. I know. How is that bottle? <laughs> so, you know wrapped. what? Um, I think my my jute is at a thin spot. You know, it, it varies. The, the thickness of it varies so much. And it seems like it's a lot thinner now that I'm almost at the bottom. <laughs> It's like um, like when you're having a dream and you're trying to get something done. And <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shucks. And the closer you get to the end, the further away it seems. I think, uh, are, is anyone else having that same problem? <laughs> yeah. I'm it's pretty sure you're not the only one. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm sure all the jute, you know, it's not a precision thing. It's not like... Well, I'm so far from the bottom, it'll probably be three days from now before I oh, shoot. Here. <laughs> oh, and you, um, you're the one that has the, the skinny jute? Yeah. Yeah. Well, just keep on going. I think it'll be worth oh, it. Oh, I will. And it's actually looking pretty good. Yeah. But, I not, but, it it's, will. but yeah. it's taking time. It will. It does. And especially for your first one, you know, I've made a bunch of these, so I kind of have the system down pat, but yeah, just take your time and keep plugging through. And when we do the flowers, you can just set it aside and finish it later, you know, and we can do the flowers. Yeah, and... yeah. So why do they call jute twine, jute twine? What Probably has some jute twine. Probably has something to do with um, what it's made out of. I, I didn't actually research it, but. <laughs> just like hemp cord, you know, the hemp hemp rope yeah. is made from hemp. Manila so envelopes are made from coconut husk. That's, that's a paper which, from which Manila. On Manila? Is coconut husk? Is it? Yeah. Real? Um, back in the olden days, they, you know, made this really strong paper because it was made with coconut husk. That's oh. why it's a distinctive color. So that's why it's manila envelopes. Huh. Made in manila. Uh, in case you wanted the history of office supplies. There All you are go. welcome. Mm. <laughs> All in a day's class. Yeah. Okay. I think that's I'm going to Hey, Miss Darlene. Yes. Do you mind moving it? Yes. Thank you. You read my mind. Sorry. No, nope, you're perfect. Wow. This jute cord is almost done. Yeah. Sorry, Miss Darlene. My the, the icon blocked that whole lot of it. So thank you. Oh shucks. Oh, Miss Mary, I just saw your message, huh? I'm sorry. 
Oh, do you need um? Do you need some instruction? Are you okay? You good? The chat up. Oops. I don't think you missed much, Miss Barry. You're just finishing the. Does she need? Do I need to? I'm sorry. No, no. I, it's just the icon that for me covers the top right corner, which is where your hands have been. Oh, and I shucks. Just couldn't okay. see. <laughs> Do you need me to move over? You're, you're right, good like, now. That's great. That, I that's think great. as you were wrapping, yeah. it was just kind of moving right. more toward oh, you. Okay. Like, you're perfect. Thank you. Thank okay. you. All right. Now I'm going to, now. <laughs> I'm going to lay it down here for a while. And then um, when y'all are in, um, I'll let y'all work a little bit longer and then I'm going to do the top and show you how we wrap over. It's basically the same thing, but I'll just do a little demo so you can see it. Miss Darlene, are you rolling it to press it down? Yeah, I'm just kind of, yeah, because my, my sides tend to be concave a bit. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure that all the jute is making contact with the glue. And it, it is actually, it's good. So, all right, well, I'm just going to go ahead, since we do have another part to do, I'm going to go ahead and add um the jute to the top to re to um, go over it so that I can hide these uh, threads on my bottle that are kind of peeping through. So I'm just going to start at the neck of my bottle and just start adding glue. And if you don't have threads or if, you're, if your top is okay, then you don't have to do this part. I think you'll be fine. Okay, now I'm just going to spread my glue. Okay, and I'm going to hold the piece and start wrapping. And then at the end, when it's, when it's dry, I can come back and cut that piece off. Okay, and then I'm just gonna wrap. Keep going around until until I get to the top. Oops, that one didn't stick. There we go. I'm gonna pull it a little taut as I go. This is a quiet group today. <laughs> Everybody's concentrating. We will all be noisy in real life soon enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Waiting for that day, right? Mm hmm. I'm going to add a little bit more glue up at the top. Yeah, I hate it. This glue is so thick. It doesn't want to come out the bottle. Did you get your hand exercise in for the day? Yeah. Will you be covering covering the tip top of the opening? 
Um, yeah, pretty much. I, um, I kind of want to conceal as much of the glass as I can. If it gets a little awkward, then stop where, you know, where you have to. Gotcha. Okay. And need more glue. Yeah, I think I'm going to end probably right there. Do you think something like pipe cleaner would work with this kind of project? Oh, I don't think so. Okay. Pipe cleaners would probably just soak up the glue and just uh, be like, you know, a sure. wet, you know, just <laughs> become gotcha. very thin. Okay. Y'all, it's my time to shamelessly plug summer reading. So this is the point where I'm thinking I'm going to put on an audio book put on the timer for Beanstalk and just let it play and wrap and get ready for Christmas. Like start making those Christmas presents. Cause that's Great idea. really cute. Put on a cute little cozy mystery, put on the timer, <laughs> kill two bears with one stone. Everyone's registered for being, um, for summer reading, right? I have to register. You got to go to the library to register. Yeah, you just hop on our. It's the main page of our library, and it says "Tales and Tales." It's a huge. I even have a shirt. Um, you can just click on it, and it's a, a little app you can download called Beanstack, and it um it'll keep track of how long you read. Or if you're doing an audiobook, it tells you how long the audiobook is, and you can just import that time. Like if you listen to a whole twelve-hour audiobook. You just put in 12 hours. Okay. All right. Thanks, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do it at the library because I can't find that, Stacey. <laughs> oh, no worries. No worries at all. Yes, all the librarians can help you. Yeah, I think we need to start thinking about our flowers, okay? Sure. So if y'all can uh, get to a, a stopping point. 140, Miss Darlene. Okay, we only Letting have you know. Minutes. No pressure. Mm -hmm. One of mine, one of my fly, I'm going to re glue one of mine. Oh, come on. My hot glue. Oh, there it is. My hot glue gun didn't really work. Oh, yeah. I might have to fire up the hot glue. Yeah, you need to fire up your hot glue guns, guys. Okay. I hope that sticks. So the first thing we do when we make our flowers is dismantle some silk flowers. <clears throat> so I have a bunch of petals here that I've already pulled apart. <clears throat> and sometimes it's kind of a trick to know which flowers will come apart nicely when you're buying them. Like my tulips, I thought they would work, but um, turns out when they opened, they stayed open and they're much too big and floppy, so I can't even use these. So these will probably become flower fairies. Mm -hmm. yeah. So one of the flowers that works the best is the hydrangeas. These worked really well. And, and these, um, but I like the um, Japanese lanterns. I think these are really, but I couldn't find any anywhere. These are old, I've been having them for a long time. So um, <clears throat> my sister made these for a, a bridal shower. She made them with the white hydrangeas and they use them, the skewers for appetizers. They, Stabbed them. Oh, yeah, it was a great, it was a really good idea. So lovely I, idea. I thought I'd, I yeah, they looked wonderful. They, you know, for the bridal shower, it was great. So, <clears throat> what you want to do 
is you're going to need your flower parts in multiples of two because we're going to do one on one side, one on the other side, um, the back side, so that they look this you know they look good from either side. And we're going to put two on one side, one on the other side. So you're going to need six for each skewer, six petals or six flower parts for each skewer. And the hardest part with this is just trying not to burn yourself with this, the hot glue. So you just add a glob of glue. Mine doesn't always want to work. And then just put your petal and don't burn yourself. I'm sorry, it's hard for me to see where you- I'm sorry, did I go out of screen again? <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I gotta keep track of that. You wanna go more toward the bottle with the twine? This way? Yeah. Yeah. Thank Let you. Me... Oh, Thanks, Miss Darlene. You see for that. Good. Where do you get the skewers at, Darlene? Um, grocery store usually has them. Any any grocery store, um, mm -hmm. even even Home Depot, any place that has like barbecue supplies, or I oh, usually get them at the grocery store. It's usually a you can get a, a bag. I got a whole I got yeah, a whole pack of this at uh, Dollar. Was it um, uh, Dollar Tree? And it's just a dollar for a whole. Yeah, pack. <laughs> even at the grocery store, they're usually a dollar or two. You know, it's they're. Very in it, and they, they might have like 50 in the pack. It's, it's, yeah, it's a lot. Okay, so when you've got one side done, the other on top, so that you flow, ow, <laughs> burn myself. That glue is good stuff, but it's dangerous. Ugh. And these so flower you're, parts. You're, I'm you're sorry. Placing them, I'm sorry. You're placing them one at close to the very end and then just a space down? Yeah, and I probably could have spaced it um, a little further apart because now um, I don't really have room for my second one. So I kind of messed this one up. But this one is okay with just two. So I'm going to do another. Where's my skewer? Here it is. I'll do another and I'll space it better. So yeah, you put one at the top because you want to kind of conceal your stick. And then I'm going to do it, leave more room to put, ouch. And then I'll put one in the center. <clears throat> between yeah. that's not ah, they're all sticking together and just as long as you make contact with the hot glue I guess you could even use um an extra skewer to touch the hot glue but now I've got hot glue and stuck to my fingers and going everywhere okay there and there. So I've got one here. There's nothing to it really. So, I mean, even if you're not ready to do them now, you should be able to. That's cool. Yeah, remember. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over and do this one. And you can kind of angle them differently too. I'm, um, I'm not really doing the good job because you can have two facing one way and the middle one facing on the side or something so that they're not quite as flat as what I've done here. That's why I like these because they they stick out from the skewer so it looks dimensional. Okay, so now that these are done, what we can do is I've got some little beads here. And you can use bigger beads. Um, on these, I used a little piece of um, mother of pearl bead for the center. 
Um, on these, uh, you can see I have a little cluster of seed beads on this one. And I th oh, yeah, that's all. Those are the only two different things. So I figured I'd do, and I'm just going to use the tacky glue for this. I think I'm not sure if, uh, I guess you could do the hot glue if I can ever get them open. Watch me open it and they go flying. Gee, yes. I guess that's something I should have thought of ahead of time. I didn't think it was going to be that hard. Where's, okay. And I'm just going to put a little a little glob of glue in the center of each one. And then sprinkle some little beads in there. Sorry, I think I'm putting my hand in the way. It's great. Yeah, the, the little beads adds a lot. They add a lot. They um give it a little sparkle. You can put almost any kind of bead. Doesn't have to be seed beads. There you go. Oh, I can do the other side too. Should have done it over a piece of paper if I had been thinking to catch the excess beads. And then I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. And that's our flowers. So how's everybody doing with their um with their jute? Still doing good? Worked great, thank you. Good. I know it may be anal. I was thinking of spray painting the sticks green. You could do that. Absolutely. That's a good idea.
Now my mind's going wild. I was thinking of hiding potpourri inside the bottle. <laughs> really smart idea. You can come up with all kinds yeah. I think it'd be great in a bathroom, you know, in the vanity. It'd be neat. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Or if you use those diffuser sticks and an oil. Exactly. That's what I was just thinking, too. I don't know how that would work with the hot glue, though. No, you'd probably have to put the sticks in beside the skewers. I don't know. The skewers may actually diffuse the fragrance, too. Well, at least I got to finish the project this time and I didn't get cut off. <laughs> Zoom didn't disconnect me. Last time we had some technical issues. Don't even worry about that. <laughs> there we go. They look great. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'll do this for my granddaughter. She'll love this. There you go. That's a good idea. You put it she's in her lovely. room. Yeah, oh, she's, that's yeah. She'll love it. That's a great idea. She's almost ten years old, so she'll that's really love it. Awesome. Is that the granddaughter you brought to class one time? One of them, because I've brought, I've, I brought. Well, I think I brought. Yeah, that's that one. Yeah, to the really. jewelry class. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, she still has that bracelet too. She loves oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. She, she yeah. showed it to me on Zoom. She said, remember this, Mama? I said, yes, I do. Awesome. <laughs> Miss Darlene, Miss Cindy yeah. had a question, which is how to apply the glaze. Oh, um, you just brush it on. You just paint it on. Just when you're buying it, make sure that the bottle says um, glaze on it. Otherwise, it's going to be the paint. It's a metallic glaze. And I'm pretty sure it's the deco, it's this one. Yeah, it's deco art. Not the folk art, but the deco art. This, I don't know if I'm, is that upside down to you or is that right side up? <laughs> I don't even know. That's it's great. right side up. <laughs> okay, okay. Could you show some of the flower options again that work better than others? The, the flower options sure yes okay this one is the um hydrangea flower so it you would have enough to make hundreds of these um with the hydrangeas because it when they pull apart you get the little two section so that's why they they cross over each other so these are good the chinese lanterns are wonderful if you can find these these are great and um, these are good. These work well. It's just a little four petal flower. Um, these again are the hydrangeas. And this worked really well. You want a small flower. You don't want it too big. These are uh, probably about as big as you would want to use something like this. And then you kind of look at your flower in the store to, to make sure that they come apart because sometimes they don't even come apart. So if you look at them carefully, you can see where the little plastic bits can peel off. And then these worked, I think these worked really well as well. These are good. So these are about, I'd say maybe an inch and a half, inch and a quarter in diameter. So, 
Thanks. That's great. Sure. Cool. This is something fun to do with the flower petals too, is make little uh, flower fairies. What is, is the hair an embroidery floss? It sure is. And I the, can't really the, focus on it. Oh, I see. Sorry, let's see. Is that any better? Yeah. That is so cute. Oh, wow. And the, the wings are made of leaves. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. The, the little head is a, um, a wooden bead. Now these are made with pipe cleaner bodies and that works really well. And then these, these take a little bit longer. Um, it's actually a floral wire that has been wrapped with embroidery floss. <laughs> That's so pretty. A little ballerina. And <laughs> this one, they make great like um, gift toppers or yeah. uh, Christmas ornaments. And um, one of my daughters used to make these with me. In fact, she made all of these. Um, and she had made a whole uh, collection of them and modeled them after the characters in The Lord of the Rings. Oh, wow. Yeah, she had made Legolas. He even had a quiver with arrows. And yeah. Good yeah. Awesome. She, Danielle, Danielle, well, I've worked with a bunch of my kids, but Danielle, um, used to work with me she was my assistant uh, oh, wow. when we when I was teaching at the uh, Jewish Community Center and um, she used to do all the crafts with me she made a lot of these but yeah they're they're a lot of fun you can really let your med like this one this is a little boy one here That's so cute yeah they're wow. cute. they are they're good for Gift, you know, putting on somebody's package a gift. I think that is kind of unique. No one else would have a gift like that. They're fun. Very true. Have you already done a class showing how? No, I have never, I have not taught that yet. If y'all are interested, just um, I'll watch let us know. <laughs> yeah. My hand is raised. My hand is oh, raised. Okay. Hand is raised. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we can plan that for the future. Sounds good. Good. Thanks. Sure. I'll have a ton mm -hmm. of that embroidery thread around the house. Or am I the only one? Mm -hmm. I gave mine all to my granddaughter. I had a bag of it. Oh, I see. I just bought more boxes to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's an alternate solution. I, I wrap the ends of my color pencils in them sometimes. Oh. Just for grip. Hmm. Well done. I, I do have That's some spools in a thread, though, so I can use that. This is only if you get exceptionally bored or have really bad grip strength. <laughs> it's so pretty. Cool. Got a piece of fuzz stuck to this. Miss Darlene, that looks so good. Thank you. I wish I could see everybody's. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.